election, kidnapping, and murder by V by the NRM is an all out assault on our humanity, freedoms, economy, and our constitution. Ugandans are asking themselves, why they should go, should go and vote if there is no democracy. And to be honest, democracy seems to be far away today. Leaders, politicians, who are supposed to be the servant of the people, to fight for our welfare and that of our family, are working for themselves. We have a mindset that is derailed and will take time to get it back on track. The very government that should be protecting its citizen turn against the people. Security organs are being used to intimidate and arrest its own people. Military weapons being used to run over Ugandans. The people army is turned into a private property. Journalists can no longer function freely. The police, military, crime fighters are going around waving their guns on innocent people. This is a cocktail for disaster. Just waiting to burst open. Some lawyers are also deeply rooted in the same system. They are on the side of the state. Some are considered criminals because they work with the opposition. Those leaders Politician should be sharing democratic services with the people who put them in power. But most of them decided to be a part of the winning team. Tomorrow, the 14th of January, is a voting day. We need all Ugandans to get involved in the electoral system. Let your votes count. Some people think that revolution can only come through a barrel of a gun. But believe me, voting is as well important in the process of a revolution. We all know that opposition political parties had been having bad days since the election campaign started. Their movement have been curtailed 
arbitrary arrest using military police, local defense forces to intimidate opposition politicians. Electoral commission that works for the state and not independent is acting like a branch of the governing body. The human rights situation ahead of the election is a matter of concern to those who love Uganda. Arrest of opposition supporters, kidnap, detention, and torture is the order of the day. We know that so far, more than 75 people had been killed. Bobby Wine and Patrick Oboy and Moriart had been arrested several times. We saw a policeman with loaded pistol standing in front of Norbert Mao convoy trying to stop him from reaching the campaign site. It is a worrying development in Uganda politics. Electoral Commission keep issuing rules for low contact election, what they call scientific election, which prohibit mass rallies and provide for digital campaign, which was later revised to allow campaign meeting with up to 200 people. I really don't know if the Electoral Commission understand what they term scientific election. Uganda is not ready for that nonsense yet. You cannot talk of scientific election when people in the villages cannot even vote through that system. We have already seen worse political violence before election. Police firing shots into Bobby Wine vehicle. His bodyguard was run over by a military truck and died. The human rights activists and high profile critics of the government have been detained, have been detained. During the last election, the president of Uganda told the nation that he is not going to step down because he is the one who planted the banana tree that has started bearing fruit. The 2021 
election is just around the corner. We have already seen a lot of kidnap, abduction, and arrest of various presidential candidates. Police using pepper spray where it's not necessary. Heavily armed police, army officers, block Bobby White vehicle as he was leaving Kiambogo University cricket ground. Someone, somewhere, is planning all sort of stupid intimidation to disrupt election. As we move closer to election day, we have seen increase in kidnapping. People disappear without trace. People are being detained left and right. They are not talking about scientific election. We understand the Electoral Commission came out with special pen for the coming election. We know there are serious human rights concerns leading up to 2021 election. We are beginning to wonder whether the election is going to be fair and transparent. Since the beginning of the electoral campaign, cases of violence and arbitrary arrest implicates how many soldiers, military, intelligence officers, local defense forces, and presidential protection unit. A boxing champion has gone missing, feared abducted by Uganda security. Police have neither denied nor accepted that they are holding him. With a day to go before the election, the government of Uganda have charged a lot of opposition supporters. 49 staff of presidential challenger Bobby Wang are being held and they claim that they were in a position of four rounds of ammunition. More than a hundred people arrested. Of a week ago. And they were charged with floating coronavirus restriction. Something does not add up. Not long ago, Uganda rights lawyer was arrested and they claim that is Bobby Wine supporter. He was charged with money laundering. Nicola Opil is being arrested for his connection with the opposition. He was later released on bail. 
We all know that the government had been targeting civil society organizations. And the opposition candidates. As we go to vote on the 14th, As for Ugandans, vote to divorce from dictatorship. Vote to divorce from corruption. Vote to divorce from tribalism. Vote to divorce from oppression. Let your vote count. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to subscribe. I will be back.